Alongside the head football coach of the Texas A&M Kingsville Havelinas, Darren Wilkinson. I'm Mark and Sarah for the Havelinas Sports Network. Coach, team getting ready for your second game following Saturday's contest against Central Washington. What were some of the lessons you guys took from that game on Saturday against the Wildcats? Um, you know, I think number one is we just need to make sure that we go in respecting our opponent. I, I, I know that we thought our team was going to be good, uh, and I know we thought that Central Washington was going to be a, a, a formidable opponent, but I don't think that they respect them as much as we uh, had warned them to do so. And, and that's, on our, that's on us as coaches. It's our fault, but we need to make sure that uh, no matter who we're playing, uh, we need to respect our opponent and, and respect the game. And I think that's number one thing. Uh, you know, I... I I don't know how, how much we prepared in, in terms of uh, just the top level of preparedness that our players put forth. Uh, and again, that, that falls on the shoulders of the coaches. And so there, there's things that both players and coaches learn that we need to get better at. And one of the things you guys did really well, and we talked about this on Monday, was you ran the ball. Nick Pellerin had 100 yards rushing. And you mentioned you also like what you saw from Jeff Carr. How important is it for your offense to continue to move the ball well on the ground? Well, I mean, that's where everything starts. Our, our offense is such that we got to run the football. And, uh, you know, Central Washington, because of pressure they were putting on us with, uh, you know, putting points on the board, they kind of forced us to start throwing more often than we really wanted to. And, and so we, uh, we need to be able to stick to the game plan a little bit more and run the ball a little bit more consistently. Now, first start for Connor Smith was on Saturday. Saw some ups and saw some downs. What do you expect to see from him this week? Yeah. Uh, a lot better consistency wise uh you know he he made some good throws and and he made some throws and and made some decisions that you know we would all like him to have back but uh you know he just needs to be more consistent and and i think uh it's been a long time since he stepped a foot on the football field and and uh, there definitely are some jitters to it but uh, i think just consistency is the biggest thing now you guys are playing a quarterback who had a career day last week in miles richardson threw for over 400 yards what do, you th- what do you have to do on defense to try and slow him down in the rest of the offense for Simon Fraser? We need to do our jobs on defense. You know, when, when we got gashed last week versus Central Washington, there's, there were situations where certain players were, were uh, taking the defense into their own hands and maybe not holding the gap that they're supposed to hold and doing their assignments. And so it just gets down to us doing our jobs. Now, you're heading all the way, obviously, to British Columbia, this might be a little different than heading to, say, Permian Basin or Commerce. Does a road trip like this come with any extra challenges? I mean, it's a lot of extra challenges. We're we're a couple of extra days of travel. You know, we're leaving Thursday and getting back really Monday morning, and so you know, planning all the meals, planning all the hotels, making sure everybody has passports and ways to get across the border. There's there's a lot going on. All right, well, Coach, best of luck on Saturday. Thanks for the time. I appreciate it. He's Darren Wilkinson. I'm Mark and Sarah for the Havelina Sports Network.